So guys, a lot of people have accused Manny Pacquiao of PEDs and they've accused him of a lot. Now, I've seen an article which reveals Manny Pacquiao's success. Now, Manny Pacquiao talks about his, his routine. Apparently, Manny Pacquiao eats 7,000 calories a day and apparently he burns about four and a half, five thousand 5,000 calories a day. I was like, wow. At the age of 40, he's eating 7,000 calories and burning four and a half, five thousand 5,000 calories. Wow. Surely people can now understand how hard this guy must be working. You know, people, especially that are making weight, I believe Anthony. I don't know whether that's just rumours because I don't know how a man could be eating 7,000 calories for a welterweight, for a small dude like Pacquiao. However, he is trying to make a weight which is very difficult for him, so it wouldn't shock me. Because Manny Pacquiao's making, he's, he's making welterweight. He's not a natural welterweight. If you look at his uh, weighing against Keith Thurman, he, he was well short of the 147 pounds. So does that show how much Manny Pacquiao has to eat in order to make the welterweight limit and the fact that he doesn't have to kill himself? Manny Pacquiao doesn't have to kill himself. That's why he's probably eating 7,000 calories. I guarantee you Errol Spence is not eating 7,000 calories because if he was... Errol Spence wouldn't be able to make welterweight. Manny Pacquiao is not a natural welterweight. That's why he's able to eat so many calories and he's, and he's burning so many calories as well. Uh, if he was eating 7,000 calories and weren't training his butt off, then he'd be, he'd be very heavy. But I think, I think firstly, it takes Manny Pacquiao a long time. Oh, sorry, it takes Manny Pacquiao. It's very difficult for Pacquiao to make 147. He has to eat a lot of meals. He has to eat a lot of food in order to get close to 147 because he's naturally not a welterweight i think we all know that he's you know he's come from a, from the lower weight categories he started off at super flyweight so i think that just shows that manny pacquiao it's not easy for him to even make the weight and it's kind of crazy because normally when you think about people making weight it's more hard to get to the weight because they're normally bigger and they're, they're finding it hard like errol spence struggles to make 147 because He's killing himself. He has to kill himself to get to 147. Whereas someone like Manny Pacquiao, he eats, he probably has to eat his way to 147. And when I mean eat, obviously it's all scientifically measured out and all done properly. You know, he's not eating whatever he wants. Uh, he, you know, he must be eating 7,000 calories of good food and training his butt off. Food that is able to, you know, get Manny Pacquiao to perform at a very high level, train very hard, train at a very high intensity. So, I'm pretty sure what he's putting into his body is very, very good quality uh, in order for him to perform the way he is, in order for him to burn 5,000 calories at his age. Uh, I guess that's why he's so successful. That's why he's still his longevity um, is what it is, because he's able to he's he's able to you know train that hard. He takes care of his body. They did say, his coaches did say, we give him a lot more rest now. We give him a lot more rest days than we used to previously because, um, you know, he's obviously a lot older now and, you know, it takes him longer to recover. But I think, I think that's what it is. The guy's a beast. He trains like an animal. He lives this game. He lives, eats, sleeps, boxing. And that's why he's able, the longevity, and that's why he's still performing. That's why he's able to perform against these young guys still at his age because of the way he trains, the way he his diet, you know, the way he lives his life, he's clean, I don't think he drinks, I don't think he smokes, he do doesn't party, he doesn't do any of that, he just lives the life. And that's what people don't understand. When you live the life, right, you can tell the people that live the life, look at Mayweather, he lived the life. Manny Pacquiao lived the life. You know, you look at anyone that lived the life, they were able to, be, you know, be able to, you know, have a long career. If you look at someone like Andre Ward, I believe he used to live the life. But even during now, for example, I've seen him eating gummy bears. I've seen him doing all of that. And he goes, I couldn't do it when I was training, when I was boxing. And that's, that shows how dedicated he was. Because he's, you know, in order to be a great, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. And that's what's the difference between these guys that are talented. Someone like Khan, for example. Virgil Hunter criticized him and said that he, he during... After fights, he doesn't train. After fights, he just trains for a fight. He doesn't train in, in between camps, which is very disappointing, you know, to hear something like that. And even Khan was very talented, but he didn't probably train as hard as Pacquiao. And that's why he wasn't able... He might have not been as good as Pacquiao anyway, but he wasn't able to reach any the, the higher levels because of the fact that he probably didn't dedicate himself like Pacquiao did. He may have been able to become 
not as good as Pacquiao, but achieved way more than what he's achieved right now. But because of the fact that he probably didn't dedicate himself like Pacquiao did, that affected him from being the best version of himself. But yeah, guys, I think Pacquiao, the, you know, accusing him of PEDs, I just think this man's a workhorse. He trains so hard, he works his butt off, and he's what. And that's why he's achieved greatness. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.